In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between mass and weight. When you think of mass, what do you think of? When you hear the word weight, what comes to mind? Mass represents the quantity of matter. It's also a measure of the amount of inertia that an object has. Weight is actually a force. So for instance, let's say this object is a five kilogram block. What is the mass of the object? And what is the weight of the object as well? The mass is measured in kilograms. It's five kilograms. To find a weight, weight is mass times gravitational acceleration. So the weight on Earth is five kilograms times the gravitational acceleration of 9.8. So this object has a weight force of 49 newtons. And so mass and weight they're not the same, they're different. Even though they're proportional, something that weighs heavier typically has more mass. But these two quantities are different. Another way in which you can illustrate this is if you take that object and put it on the moon. On the Earth, the block has a mass of 5 kilograms. On the moon, it still has a mass of 5 kilograms. However, the weight force is different on the Earth compared to what it is on the Moon. On the Earth, the object weighs 49 newtons. On the Moon, the weight force is different. You need to use this equation, but g is different. So the mass is still 5, but the gravitational acceleration on the Moon is about 1.7 meters per second squared. So the weight on the moon is 8.5 newtons. So even though you have the same 5 kilogram block, that block feels a lot heavier on the earth, but it feels a lot lighter on the moon. That's why if you were on the moon, you could jump pretty high. And it's going to take you a long time for you to fall back to the moon because the gravitational acceleration is so slow. So perhaps you've seen astronauts on the moon as they jump, they jump slowly up, and then they slowly fall back down. It's due to the low gravitational acceleration of that object. So keep this in mind. Mass and weight are different. They're proportional, but they're different. Mass is associated with the quantity of matter. It's also a measure of inertia. And weight is a force that is dependent on gravitational acceleration. So the weight changes based on what planet you're on. If you were on the sun, you would weigh a lot heavier than what you weigh on the earth. More than 20 to 30 times heavier than what you would weigh. You literally couldn't lift yourself up if you could survive being on the sun. Mars, for example, is much less than earth. I think the gravitational acceleration on Mars is about 3.7. So on Mars, you would feel a lot lighter than you would on earth. And the moon, you would feel like a feather. So remember, the weight changes based on the planet you're on. The weight of the object will not be the same. However, the mass of the object doesn't change based on the planet that you're standing on. The mass will remain the same. The number of atoms in this 5 kilogram block is not going to change if you take it from the Earth and transport it to the Moon. However, the weight force will change. Now let's work on this problem. A 12 kilogram object has a weight force of 588 newtons on planet X. What is the gravitational acceleration of this planet? In order to find that, we can use the weight force equation. Weight is equal to mg. So the weight of the object is 588 newtons. The mass is 12 kilograms. Our goal is to find the gravitational acceleration denoted by the letter g. So g is going to be 588 divided by 12, which is 49 meters per second squared. So that's the gravitational acceleration of planet X. Now part b, how many g's does this represent with respect to Earth? The gravitational acceleration of Earth 
is 9.8 meters per second squared. So we need to compare 49 to 9.8, and we can convert it if you want. So let's start with the value that we have. So 1g on Earth, let's put this on top, has an acceleration of 9.8. So you need to divide the two numbers. Notice that the units cancel. So it's going to be 49 divided by 9.8, which is 5. So what this means is that planet X has a gravitational acceleration that is five times greater than what you would have on Earth. So let's say if a person weighs 600 newtons on Earth, the person will weigh five times heavier on planet X. They will have a weight force of 3,000 newtons. So if a person weighs 200 pounds on Earth, he's going to weigh 1,000 pounds on planet X because planet X has a gravitational acceleration that is five times greater than that on Earth. Number two, a 24 kilogram object rests on a table. What is the force of gravity acting on this object? How would you answer this problem? How can we calculate the gravitational force that is on a 24 kilogram mass? The force of gravity acting on the object is basically the weight force. So it's mg. So it's going to be 24 kilograms times an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. So the weight force is 235.2 newtons. So Earth's gravity is pulling down on this object with a force of 235.2 newtons. The table exerts an upward force of 235.2 newtons as well because the object is at rest, it's not moving. So the net force acting on the object has to be zero. So therefore, the weight force of the object and the force that the table exerts on the object has to balance out if the object is at rest. That upward force that is exerted by a horizontal surface, it could be an incline too, but anytime you have a force that is perpendicular to the surface, and if it's exerted by the surface, that force is also known as a normal force. Number three. A person weighs 225 pounds. What is the mass of the person in kilograms? So what should we do? Well, we know that the weight force is equal to mg. Now, g has the units meters per second squared, and we know it's 9.8. m has the units in kilograms, which is what we want. We want to find the mass in kilograms. Now, the weight force in this equation is typically newtons if you're going to use 9.8 meters per second squared. So therefore, we need to convert the weight force from pounds to newtons using this conversion factor. So let's do that first. So it's 225 pounds over 1, and 1 pound is equal to 4.45 newtons. So the unit pounds will cancel, so it's going to be 225 times 4.45. So the person weighs 1,001.25 newtons. So that's the weight force. So now we can use the formula W equals mg. So the weight force is 1,001.25 newtons. We're looking for m, and g is 9.8. So the mass is 102. 0.2 kilograms. So that's the answer. So that's it for this video. If you want to find more videos on physics, just check out my channel and look for my physics playlist, and you can access these videos in order. Thanks for watching.